Hey everyone, today we're jumping into a head-to-head -head showdown between two drivers for the Lenovo Legion Go, the newly released AMD 24.101 and the original stock driver from May 27th. Which one delivers smoother gameplay? Which one maximizes performance on this device? I know there are many people who still prefer the stock driver because it's exclusively made for the Legion Go, even without AFM F2. But today, we're going to find out which one is better. Get ready. It's time to see which one truly unlocks the Legion Go's potential. The first game we're testing is Cyberpunk 2077. I ran the in-game benchmarks using both drivers, with the same settings, 800p at medium settings, focusing purely on raw performance without any upscaling or frame generation. When comparing two drivers, the main focus should be on the 1% low and 0.1% low FPS to see which one delivers more stable performance. Since we're using the same hardware, we won't see a huge difference in overall or average FPS. Whenever a new driver is released, I don't expect a performance boost. My priority is always stability. Let's see which driver provides that reliable, smooth experience. Based on the results from the first game, tested at 800p on medium settings with raw performance, there's no significant difference between the two drivers to highlight one is better. For Cyberpunk 2077, I'd say both drivers provide similar performance. Now, let's move on to the second game. I ran the in-game benchmarks for Assassin's Creed Origins at 1200p with high settings, focusing on raw performance once again. Let's see how both drivers handle this title, and if there's any noticeable difference. The results are in, and once again, there's no significant difference to make one driver clearly superior. However, at 1200p with high settings, the AMD 24.101 does seem to offer slightly more stable performance in Assassin's Creed Origins. Now let's move on to the next game, Far Cry 6, tested at 1600p with high settings. I've really put the stress test on this game to see how each driver handles the performance demands.
The results are in, and once again, there's no significant difference for Far Cry 6 at 1600p with high settings. Both drivers provide similar performance. Now let's get into our hot topic, the feature that one driver has and the other doesn't, AFMF2. As we know, stock drivers don't receive frequent updates, which means they typically lag behind in implementing the latest optimizations and features. The absence of AFMF2 is a significant drawback, as it prevents the Legion Go from reaching its full potential. To illustrate this, I've chosen to compare Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is capped at 60 FPS. This is a great example to show that frame generation can still work effectively in games with a frame cap. While the actual frame rate remains at 60 FPS, frame generation creates intermediate frames based on that output, helping to reduce motion blur and enhance the overall visual experience. The result is a perception of smoother motion during gameplay, especially in fast-paced scenes. This technology can significantly improve visual fluidity and responsiveness, making the gameplay feel more engaging. In summary, frame generation can enhance the smoothness of gameplay, even in titles that are capped at 60 FPS. Based on my experience with this game, I definitely prefer playing with AFMF2 over the stock driver. The smoother animations and quicker character movements make a noticeable difference, enhancing the overall gameplay experience. Next up is Silent Hill 2 Remake, a game that many of us struggle with on the Legion Go. However, with AFMF2 Frame Boost, I found that the game feels noticeably smoother and more responsive in character movement compared to the stock driver. Frame generation typically increases input lag because it creates interpolated frames that are inserted between real frames, which can cause a delay. However, I feel that the game is more responsive with frame generation because the overall fluidity of the animation improves dramatically with higher FPS, like achieving nearly 100 FPS in this case. This smoother visual experience can create the perception of faster responsiveness, even if the actual input lag is slightly higher than the native gameplay. Additionally, if Silent Hill 2 Remake benefits from good optimization, the overall system lag might be minimal enough that it's hard to notice the added input lag in practice. So, for this game, the advantages of using AFMF2 are clear. To conclude, I highly recommend using the AMD driver 24.101 over the stock driver from Lenovo. While the stock driver is designed to provide stable performance specifically for the Legion Go, my benchmarks show that both drivers deliver nearly identical performance without upscaling or frame generation. Additionally, the absence of AFMF2 in the stock driver is a significant drawback, as AFMF2 offers many benefits for this handheld device. Personally, I see no reason to stick with the stock driver, especially since the AMD 24.10.1 also provides stable performance, along with the added advantages of AFMF2 features and support for new games. I really hope Lenovo will release an updated driver in the future that includes AFMF2 and fixes the issue with the AMD overlay. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.